welcome back one and all to Mark My Words where we take a look at some of the latest games, give out some straightforward information and opinions along the way. Today we are looking at The Quarry, the spiritual successor of the 2014 game Until Dawn. I am a massive fan of those games. Until Dawn and Detroit Become Human really are top tier games of that genre. Before we get too far into this, of course, a quick bit of housekeeping, of course, all gameplay you see is my own and okay. spoiler free, only really covering the first three chapters of the game. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to stay up to date with all my videos. Please and thank you. Now, The Quarry. So, The Quarry's story is similar to Until Dawn. After a brief intro, we are introduced to our main characters, that is seven of them, being Abby, Dylan, Emma, Jacob, Caitlin, Nick, and Ryan, all of which have different relationships, drama between the group. All these members are counselors at the Hackett's Quarry, which just finishes up their kids' summer camp. When they decide to stay one extra night due to a broken down car, obviously leading to some terrible things. Now, the Quarry story, which is basically a reflection of Until Dawn, almost to the point that there's nothing new, which is a bit disappointing. It is still really enjoyable if you like these genres of games, such as Until Dawn and Detroit Become Human. If you're into this, it's a mix of that teenage drama, thriller, monster, almost 80s type of horror movie, jump scares, really good time. I just wish it was a bit more original. I understand this is a, this is a successor. This pretty much happens right after Until Dawn or a little bit afterwards. But I get it as a sequel, but I was just hoping for something a bit fresher. It just ended up being a bit dry for me. But let's just go into the gameplay. So the gameplay, of course, is interesting. It's not for everyone, but I understand that. It's a decision-based interactive drama where most of the time you are watching the game unfold. And every now and then you get to traverse the world by walking around limited areas, searching for clues and tarot cards. These cards will actually end up showing you potential paths once you've finished chapters to kind of almost warn you of what might happen. Because all these games are just decision-based games. The game will change based on the decisions you make and your actual second playthrough could be completely different and your characters might actually die earlier or later or survive depending on your decisions. This brings some really great replayability as different decisions obviously lead to those different consequences. Which by the way, I love how they explain this in the beginning, very similar to these old school camp videos. It just really suited the game, it was really good. I loved that change. This kind of gameplay is of course a love-hate, I can see both sides. It's great because basically your involvement is just a thriller movie, however, it's not great because there's some points where you could just be a bit bored, sit on your phone and similar to when you watch movies at home you can just kind of do your own thing but i enjoyed this gameplay a lot it's different and when it's done right it's really interesting it's worth mentioning in this game it does have local and multiplayer capabilities however i wasn't able to experience those modes so i don't have a lot to offer but you can play this as a couch co-op with someone like your partner or friends but do note that if you play a single player game you cannot jump into a couch co-op on that same game save. I don't really know why you have to start a co-op to be able to continue a co-op, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Anyway, graphics. Graphics are actually really amazing in this game, but they're also very, very important. If you don't get good graphics and atmosphere in these games, it doesn't stand a chance. However, the quarries 90% of graphics and mood are done so well. The wind moving in the trees, the use of lighting in the dark forests definitely sets the mood for some of the characters. Speaking of these main characters, the level of detail in the facial creation is insane. These actors are copy and paste straight into the game with such minimal faults and the technology is just going crazy ever since the 2014 rendition of Until Dawn. It still needs a bit smoothing out, but overall I'm so happy. Like you can look at these actors of a photo of them and their gameplay and it's almost a spitting image. It's so 
awesome. The graphics is really good. That's another thing this game actually has is a different kind of mode called a movie mode, which takes a big lot of the majority of the quick time events and the decision making, allowing for a bit of an immersive experience that you could just watch the game. Watch the game as it if as if it was a movie with very minimal choices. And that is actually really cool. They almost took that as an opportunity that's so cool overall the quarry as i said is definitely the spiritual successor of until dawn an amazing game if you like these kinds of games however if this is your first experience with these kinds of games i would definitely suggest go check out detroit become human instead it is still my favorite one of these kinds of genres it's just the level of detail in the world they build is just way bigger than Until Dawn or The Quarry, and it's a fantastic experience. Anyway, immersive gameplay and a good story, if not a bit on the nose towards Until Dawn, I would have liked something a bit more original, but the atmosphere and the experience I've had is definitely um, something I'm happy with and something I hope Supermassive Games keeps up this kind of quality. And that's the quarry. I hope you all enjoyed this one. Have you played Until Dawn? Are you going to pick up the quarry? I would love to know what you thought. Please comment below and let me know. And of course, if you liked the video, please hit the like button. Subscribe now if you want to. Don't forget. And I'll see you all in the next one. See you later.